Hello everybody, how was everybody's morning going? It's a new day. Today's gonna be a long day, but a good one, so I'm excited. So today's, yesterday was my son's birthday, and we're celebrating his birthday today to have a birthday party for him, so I'm really, really excited. Um, I really wanted to get this video out already for you guys because um, I've been tempted to do this already, I wanna say like twice at least, three times. And yesterday I got to the point where I was doing swatches and luckily the first one I didn't do swatches but the second one I did do swatches so <clears throat> and I recorded on a different phone and for that reason uh, the like the filming like the picture and the data etc was too big for it to put it on YouTube so I have to redo it on another phone. So I'm trying to do it like this to see how it works. I've been, um, sorry about my brows. I just roughly put them on so that way I can do this video real quick. And then I'm gonna try to film another video right after on a look. So I'm gonna get into it and I'm gonna go as fast as I can at a good rate. <laughs> I get a good pace. Okay, so we're going to be do the, doing the unboxing for the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for this month of July. Oh my gosh, we're already in July, you guys. Can you believe that? It's just fi flying so fast. Like, the years, like, I feel like it's just, each year that goes, like, comes, I feel like it just flies faster and faster. So, anyways, um, we, this is the first month that I receive Ipsy, by the way. Um, I've never, I get BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm is like my fourth month, this was my fourth month, but this Ipsy is the first month, so I wanted to test it out to see what I would get, and I'm pretty happy, like, for the most part I am. Okay, so, oh, I forgot about that. This is what the box looks like. This box is $25. They do have, like, the regular Ipsy bag, which runs for 10 bucks. Ten dollars, and that's only like sample sizes and uh, like deluxe sizes, but not full size. So you pay twenty five for four to five products that are full size. Okay, so when you open the box, it has a yellow foam, which is different from BoxyCharm because BoxyCharm has like the gray foam. So that's different. And then in here it says, uh, "Don't be pretty like them. Be pretty like you." So I really like that. That's really, really cute. Um, and I'm going to pull out the card. So this card, um, I'm assuming, comes in each box. And it comes with the theme of the month. So the theme of the month is Dive In. And it says, Summer is in full swing. Let's soak it up with dewy skin, beach babe waves, and shimmering budge-proof makeup looks. Guaranteed to keep those chill poolside vibes going all, sum well, all month long. I was going to say all summer, but... All month long okay so the first item in the box is this pixie skin treats glow mist with propolis and argan oil so this is what this looks like I don't know if it's gonna pick up like the oil in here like it has oils you see all the oils going up so yeah and this retails for $15. This is the full size, so it's a 2.70 fluid ounces. So, it says, the Pixie by Petra Glow Mist. Set up your summer glow with this lightweight mist. It's formulated with 13 natural essential oils like rose flower and lavender, aloe vera, and fruit extracts to set your makeup, hydrate, protect, and give your skin a gorgeous, dewy finish. Shake it up, mist onto skin, before makeup, or all over your face. Hair, neck, throughout the day for a refreshing pick-me-up. Um, so it's filled with 13 different, uh, natural essential oils, um, which sounds very, very intriguing, but I'm noticing that my skin is more like, I feel like it's starting to get like on the kind of like oily side, like a little bit, um, due to me switching face washes and making the bad mistake and switching face washes. So I don't know how I feel about that. Um, but overall, that's a really good product. I hear a lot of things about Pex Pixie by Petra that her, you know, especially her skincare line. So, I might just pass that along to one of my good friends so that she can try it. Well, I, 
I don't know if she's tried. I know. I think she wants to try it. So, um, anyways, I'm gonna move on to the next product. And the next product is the It Cosmetics Superhero Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara in Super Black. This retails for twenty four dollars. It says, want long lifted defined lashes? This no flake fo formula is enriched with exclusive elastic. I like the bottle. It's really cute and I find it like very like drama looking like, um, I don't know if it's picking up online, on, online, on, on film, but yeah, she's, has like her own, like, you know, she comes like, she, she's kind of chunky, thick on the top and then she goes slender and then she thickens out like. That's really cute. I like that. And then it, ha it has the embossment of it cosmetics. Um, I kind of wanted to put that light on, but I feel like it's so late already in the video for me to put it on. I'm going to see how it works. Okay, wait. Okay, so there we go. So this is what this looks like. So I still like it doesn't get it great. <laughs> um, okay, that retails for $24. This is... Where does I at? Want long lift to define lashes. The snowflake formula is enriched with exclusive elastic stretch technology, super powered ingredients like biotin and peptides to strengthen, polymers to lift, and collagen to build up your lashes from the inside out. The specifically designed wand grabs your tiniest lashes and coats them in color from root to tip, no lash left behind. Plus, it's long wearing, so you'll bear need touch-ups even after hours of wear. Tip, wiggle the wand through your lashes and zigzag motions from root to tip to pile on the drama, just swipe on another coat. So, $24 for that. Um, I should try it, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm down to try it. I'm down to try new things. And, um, so yeah, that's the next product in the box. The next product in the box is going to be... My bad is um my nose is like kind of like my allergies are acting up so this is by the brand naked cosmetics this is a four-piece pigment set and the retails for forty dollars hold on real quick um It retails for $40, so there's four different pigments in here. There's a gold one, like a chocolate brown one, and like a champagne, and then like kind of like a offish grayish kind of. And so there's four of them, so that means they're $10 a piece. But online I looked them up, and their individuals like that go for $14.99. So, and they usually sell them in six, like in a pack of six. So, the fact that it came in a set of four, was, it's really nice, you know what I mean? But $40 for that. Okay, so, Naked Cosmetics uh, products are made without fillers like oils, wax, or talc that can be damaging to your skin. These highly pigmented, finely milled, loose pigments blend so easily. Mix and match them to create endless eye looks. It says use a dense shader brush, and it tells you... You know, it gives you an idea of how t you can wear these, and you can wear them like you can wear them as a lash liner. Like you can put it on the top of the lash line or the bottom of the lash line, um, and you can smudge it out so you can have like a smoky looking wing liner. And then you can also use these pigments as a highlight, like highlighter, or mix with your favorite lip glosses and nail polishes to make them shimmery. So I really like that because you can pair it up, you know what I mean, if you want to like have like that nail polish going on and then the same eye look, that's really, really nice. And it comes with a lot of product, I mean, that's quite a lot, that's a lot of product, you know what I mean? These will last you a very long time. So the next product in the box is going to be, um, is by Perlise. This is a watermelon energizing aqua balm, lightweight, oil-free gel cream refreshes and moisturizes. I should have waited to put that lotion. I put the last of my sample of the Laneige, like the last drop, you guys, like for real. I like squeezed this sucker out because my skin's been getting dry. I don't know if it's because I tried the mask, the Elemis mask, 
and that was another fail you guys I tried to do a video on that and yeah it didn't work out so well <laughs> I need to do another one so that that's on my that's on my to do my to do list is to do a face mask uh, like face routine you know kind of thing with you guys and like a chit chat so this is uh, like I said, it's lightweight oil free, it's oil free gel cream refreshes and moisturizes. Oily in combination normal to even skin, which I'm excited because I feel like I have combo skin. So like I get dry area in here and then I have like kind of like I get kind of like I get I want to say oily like a little bit, but not like so dramatically oily like no, it's like a little bit thank you Jesus, but I I'm coming from dry skin, like really, really dry skin. Now it's my skin's changing. So it says the benefits. Watermelon moisturizes skin. The aloe vera helps reduce inflammation. White tea protects skin from cellular damage. Cucumber helps smooth and firm skin. The ritual cleanse skin with Perlis Blue Lotus 4-in-1 cleansing milk. Gently smooth over face morning and night. Great for everyday use to beautiful skin. And it tells you the creator's name. And this is what she looks like. Um, and it's 1.7 fluid ounces, so 15 milliliters. And it's always free of parabens, mineral oil, phthalates, phthalates, and it's animal cruelty. So it says that it retails for $45, you guys. So this is like the size of my hand. At least it's a fluid ounce, you know what I mean? Because my fluid ounce, I think this is an ounce right here, right? Yeah, this is one fluid ounce, and this retails for $58. So, that's pretty good. It's a little bit over, it's a little bit over an ounce. Yeah, like one fluid ounce. So, aside from being one of our favorite summer fruits, watermelon is so good for your skin. It's a star ingredient in this lightweight balm packed with vitamins A, C, and E to help hydrate, brighten your skin complexion and regenerate your skin cells plus aloe vera and cucumber work together to calm inflammation and reduce redness and white tea extracts protects your skin cells from damage so it says tip apply pea side dots onto your forehead nose chin and cheeks use your fingers to smooth it evenly on your face which i do have like redness I don't, okay yeah you can see it now if i get closer I have red pigmentation and that I have rosacea I've had that for years like years like since I was little and it doesn't go away so I hope that that would go like go away like and then again I've never really had gotten into um, what should we call it like skincare until now since I have my beauty channel so the last product in the box is I'm really excited for this one, you guys. Like, really, really excited. So, this is the Huda Beauty Obsessions Palette in Smoky. And it values for $27. So, I'm going to open it. And you're going to see, like, just a little bit of, like, fallout. Because I swatched it yesterday on a video that didn't work out. <laughs> so, I'm, like, new to this, you know, whole like YouTube videos and stuff like that and I'm like man I feel so bad because now I know what it is to do a full face of makeup and then have your camera go out and erase all the data that you just did on that video and sometimes these ladies or these youtubers they do their whole face and then they have to redo their face again so they have to wipe off their face and redo it again so like kudos to you guys because I know it's a struggle because I've recently started going through that. <laughs> okay, so this is the Obsessions Palette in Smoky. Uh, Huda Beauty is a female founded company launched by makeup artist and beauty influencer Huda Catton. Loaded with nine shadows, this compact palette is ultimate day to night eye color wardrobe. It includes both mattes and shimmers, all of which are super pigmented, creamy, and blendable. Plus it comes with a large mirror which is the mirror here that's like a huge mirror and um where was i at perfect for when you're on the go tip using a fluff and then this one tells you 
also how do you can wear this like you can wear it as a highlight how you can use it as a crease and how you can use it the darker shades like as a lash line you know to darken it like make a liner look or to smudge it out and have like a smoky eyeliner look yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna swatch this for you guys this retails for $27 I really like this because it's compact and it's easy just to get it and throw it and put it in your purse and like let's go and take a couple brushes with you even if you didn't want to you can just pop the you know get your finger and pop it on the lid itself and call it a day or get your bronzer and pop that in the crease or you can like I said pop this one in the crease and call it a day so that's really really cool I really like that the pigmentation on this this is the first Huda Beauty product that I've ever owned in my life and I was so impressed on my first thoughts so I actually want to do a look today so I think that's what I was gonna do I was kind of gonna do two videos but I'm at 15 minutes already and I've already finished the box so thank God I'm gonna wind up doing it now so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you the black one they're very like s smooth so there's I don't want to go that I don't want to go that far out that means more of a cleanup for me. <laughs> um, I have a towel right here. Okay, so that's the black one. Of course, it's going to be like more buildable. And then here's this camo shade. I don't know. It's not going to show like dramatically. But I can see it on my skin. It's just not picking it up on camera. It's like a camo brown. Like, the camo, like a camo brown. And then the next one is a like a champagne uh, shimmer oh my gosh you guys watch this so beautiful I'm actually gonna post a picture of the swatches on Instagram for you guys so my Instagram is gonna be in the description box so make sure you check the check the description box down below and you'll find my handles for Instagram and Twitter and and if you want to sign up for Ipsy, um, I'm going to leave you a link as well. If you have friends and family, like you you can easily ask them for their, uh, like their link, and then they can send it to you, and then you can sign up like that. But if you want to use my link, then you can go ahead too. No, I'm not an affiliate. It's just, um, I don't know how it works with them. I know with BoxyCharm, if you... Um, like refer a friend you get five dollars and then they get five dollars and it goes towards your charm room this one is the silver shimmer which I don't own one and now I do and I'm so excited because this is just so pretty it's like a mirror chrome color and oh my gosh I'm so excited <laughs> and then this one is a brown like a very chocolate brown shimmer this one she goes on like that oh my my swatch got totally crazy okay so that's a shimmer too but not as like in the me blinding as that chrome like that chrome is freaking beautiful I love it like I can't wait to use it and then I have a gold next and here she goes bam oh so beautiful like she's like in your face baby doll like oh my gosh I'm like so excited for that like I really am excited to try it so yeah that's that one and then we have the two browns so this one's a darker this one's a lighter so if I go into the dark brown this one's gonna be buildable so there's that one Okay. and then the next one is a little bit lighter you can see it's like a little bit lighter and she swatches a little bit lighter but I know that you can build these up to the intensity that you want which is really really good it's not like bold bold but it's enough to where like you can build the color up and the last one in here is a peak shiver 
So. And she pops too. So. I, I hope it's picking up on cat. There it is. The pink. You can see the pink. So overall, I'm very impressed with this palette. And I'm in love already. You guys. I'm in love with it. I'm like so excited to use it. That's how in love I am with it. So let's get into this because I'm ready. <laughs> I've been ready since last night. Like, but I was like, no, you have to wait. Or oh, you need some sleep. I don't know if my eyes have bags, but yesterday, I not last night, but the night before, I stayed up all night creating two different looks. So I created one on one eye and one on the other. You can find that on my Instagram if you're interested or if you're coming from Instagram. Yeah, that's what my night looked like two nights ago. <laughs> okay, I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to use to prime my eyes. And I think I'm going to go with a paint pot. Yeah, I'm going to go with a paint pot. This is by the Be the brand Bella Pierre. And there's not really a... I kind of want to wipe this off, but I probably need to before I get it everywhere on me. I'm just going to take some makeup and a little brag here. Oh, man, I got it on my dress. I already did photos but I kind of want to do another one real quick because I like these they do have a little bit of pickup like kickback but other than that I think it's a really good um man my nose is bothering me really really bad I want to hurry up Come on. it's not gonna let me I guess it's whatever I can maybe just, maybe, wish me luck, you guys. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Sorry. So, let me take that off real quick. Where did the wet spot go? Oh, there it is. a shimmery goddess today yes honey know it okay I'm gonna grab a blending brush and I really want to use this brush right here this brush I received in uh, my boxy charm and I'm just gonna uh, color switch it also what helps me you guys is I use these these foams that we get in our boxy charm or like in the ipsy bag and I use this to clean my brush off like to quickly to color switch it and it really really helps so just FYI if you didn't know and you're like okay what do I do <laughs> that's just a little, some little tip for you okay so I'm gonna prime the eyes I've already done my brows I haven't carved them which I should have but oh, where are we at 23 minutes I'm going to try to do this as fast as I can. And I'm going to go straight in with this. This is by LA Girl. And this is the Pro Conceal in the shade Fairest. I use this to cut my crease as well. So I really like this one. Where are my scissors? This hair is always like... There, this hair right there is always so frustrating. Stop off, fell down the lid. Okay. And I am going to cut this, like I said. If I can. Okay. 
Okay, I got it. I thought. Didn't think I was ever going to get it. Okay, so I'm just going to get some to the tip. I know that looks crazy bold, but it's okay. You can find this at HEB. I really like this to prime my eyes as well because it's so bright, like like it's so where the colors pop even more. I might just prime my eyes with this. It's my hair. <laughs> you guys, I should leave this as my thumbnail. <laughs> How funny. <laughs> Please tell me you're cracking up right now. Because <laughs> I am. Okay. I'm just going to blend this out. It's okay if it stays white, you know, because we're going to cover that up with foundation and all of that bronzer, and so I'm okay with it. Like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and prime with this because there's no sense in to go with two different ones. Sorry if you hear my kids in the background. zoom you guys in here in a minute. I'm going to get nice and personal with you. If it'll go. Sometimes it goes like too much. Maybe it's not going to do it. Maybe I just have to bring you closer to me.
Okay, we're good. I'm not going to set it. I don't set it. I used to set it, but now lately I just go straight down with the product because I feel like the pigmentation picks up better. I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so, so, so excited. So this is a, the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette <clears throat> that we received in this month's box. So I'm going to go in with a camo color. Um, it doesn't say the shade names, but I'm okay with that. It's fine. And I'm going to tap out my brush. And I'm going to start to add that in my crease. Actually, I'm going to tap it in first. So that way I don't move any of that concealer that I just laid down. doing I have a mirror right here. I gotta take off this little plastic. Oh yeah. Ooh, it has a good mirror. A really good mirror. Forget this one. This is a really good mirror. The quality of the mirror is really good. So I'm just taking it in here. Sorry, my hair is getting in the way. I actually want to lay down something else real quick on my lid before I start going more in. I This is a LA Colors Jumbo Pencil Crayon and it's in the color Seashells. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, not that I need it because I have already like the whiteness, but <laughs> sorry about that if you heard that. Okay, so I'm going to just go underneath the brow. And I'm going to pat it out. And then I'm going to add a white shadow. There's not a white shadow in there, but I'm going to grab one from this Believe brand, this one's from Believe, and there's like a white one in there, and I'm just going to set it down so that way it can, instead of putting it on later, I can put it now, and it'll just fade in perfectly. So, I chopped off my brush. By the way, that palette is, is Believe. I'll show it to you right now. It's by the Dollar General, Dollar General brand. It's their own makeup line. And everything in that brand is five dollars and under. And I'm just setting down the white. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to go back in with my transition shade. And start. By the way, you guys, like, this is, like, the first time I ever have my nails painted. Like, I usually have acrylics, but I, let, I was letting my nails uh, get better because they were, like, so paper thin. It was ridiculous. So, because I would get them done so often. And they last me a long time, so... Each set lasts me a really long time. So there's that. Oh, you can see the difference, you guys, like right away. I'm going to build just a little bit on the outside more. I'm probably not going to do the whole makeup look, which really is crazy because I wanted to do a whole separate, you know, for the eyeshadow like to do a whole uh, makeup tutorial like you know but it's not gonna work like that because I'm in a hurry today I just want to get something out for you guys today because for the last 
three days, two days, I have not been able to upload a video. I didn't even set the white down. I'm just setting up. That way it can like have that effect of like where it fades in and fades out kind of thing. Situation over there. Oh, I'm back in. Yeah, so that taupe one that wasn't like picking up on camera is like you can build it the shade up. So next, I'm gonna go in with one of the chocolate browns, and I don't know what I'm gonna go for today. I think what I'm gonna do is cut the crease. I'm not gonna cut the crease. I'm gonna just go in with the brush brush like a, a shader brush and with the brush find a shader brush from the um, boxy charm for this month. I'm going to spot clean it real quick. Just so I can have a nice clean brush. I was like thinking about I'm probably going to darken it up. I'm going to get a, or another brush. Like this kind of brush. This is a wet and wild brush. These are the Luxie brushes, so this was one of the ones that was inside my boxy charm for this month. So I'm going to go in with the shade that's right here, which is the lighter one. You can see on camera that this one's darker and this one's lighter. And I'm going to start to darken up the crease. pat it in like where I want it to go. I'm gonna like do like half the cut crease but I'm not gonna cut the crease itself like with the concealer because it just takes too much time and I'm already at 30 minutes. The video is already long enough. I will eventually get the editing down you guys and I'll be able to shorten up my videos but for now I'm just trying to 
get something up for you guys to see where it'll go, you know, and then from there, I'll start editing more. So, I'm going to bring it in just a little bit. I really like the pigmentation payoff. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush like this and start to just buff it out. I'm also going to go back in with the transition shade brush and I'm going to run it over it again. Just above it. Going back in with that brown. Okay. I'm going to do the other one off camera real quick and I'll be right back. Okay? Two seconds. Taking the Luxie 209, it's a large shader brush, and I'm going to do the com like the camo color with this brush instead. The transition shade, I'm going back in with that. I don't really pick it up on camera, but my white hairs are. Yeah. That ain't nothing new.
Okay. Next, I'm taking my shader brush and I'm gonna dip into a color. I don't know what color. I don't know what color I'm gonna use. I really want to use that silver, but then again, it makes me want to like save it for another day. I wish you guys could tell me. <laughs> I'm wearing a black purse, so that leaves me with pink, champagne, or silver. Uh, this is the hard part, you guys. I'm going to go in with pink. This one's like calling my name. You have no idea. Calling my name. Screaming my name. Okay. I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this in the inner portion and then I'll fade it out with a different color. Hey, I'm filming. anything got on there like um, if it picked up it might have or might have not no nope, I'm gonna have to save that one I'll save it for another day but I will do it I'm gonna go in with the, the it gets like more of a bronzy champagne oh yeah that one picked up the other one didn't pick up Here we go. I don't know if it'll pick up with the light off. Let me check out it. Mm, not really. But it's... It's there. It's really there. I'll post pictures on Instagram, you guys. So make sure you check that out. Check it back. Make sure that you look back. Where did my brush... Why am I just losing my brushes today? Guys, it's a day that's starting off like this. Are you kidding me? Going back into that shade. I'm gonna just add this on the outer corner. I take this one. I'm gonna deepen it up a little bit more.
Okay, no, no. Got some of the shimmer right there. This is my shader brush that I was using for the transition. Start. I kind of want to bring that shade up a little bit higher. It does have a bit of like kickback, so be aware of that. It does have kickback. I wish you would show on camera. Let's see something. No, there's no sunlight outside. I was about to say maybe the sunlight, but it's kind of like gloomy outside in a way. Okay, there's a. The next, I'm gonna jump into the other eye. So going in with that same shade. Patting my brush out and wetting my brush with the two sprays. So I'm not used to my hair down, you guys. Like I'm not like it's like everywhere. I feel like you can see it better on this eye. And maybe the way I'm sitting. I brought it up higher because I have good eyes. So I'm going to bring it up higher on this other side too. Love that. That's very, very pretty.
more because she just a little bit. I'll just be careful because you can like make this go muddy and mine look kind of muddy over here but I think it's because I didn't use the right brush and on this side I did use the right brush I already had started off with this one so it kind of like messed it up a little bit but I'll fix it later shimmer okay so there's that I will be back with lashes done so be right back I gotta hurry up